Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Town of Cape Elizabeth Planning Board meeting for December 19th of the year 2000. First order of business is the minutes of the previous meeting, September 19th of the year 2000. Any comments or changes from board members? Move that they be accepted as written. Thank you, Steve. It's been motioned to move that we accept them as written. A second from Nancy. Thank you. Any further considerations? Hearing none, those in favor, please raise your right hand. Thank you. Correspondence received for this week's meeting. Letter from Jay Wilson Sanford in regards to the Irving Station. Planning Commissioner's Journal Fall of 2000 report. APA press release in regards to national, a, a national survey. Zoning newsletter of September 2000. Zoning newsletter of October 2000. Shoreland zoning newsletter of fall 2000. Transportation land use brochure. A letter from G. Alexander in regards to non-conforming lots. A letter from Mr. and Mrs. Shaw in regards to non-conforming lots. A letter from N. Wilson in regards to non-conforming lots. A letter from L. LeBlanc in regards to non-conforming lots. And a letter from the town council in regards to non-conforming <coughs> lots. A letter from our town attorney in regards to site plan approval expiration dates. On the podium this evening was a letter from Mr. Blake in regards to the extension request on the Tin Tinsman <coughs> property, which is on the agenda this evening. And if I may, in regards to the letter from the town council, I would like to quickly read it into the letter uh, into the record this evening, and the planning board will have a very quick workshop at the end of this meeting in the Jordan Conference Room behind us in regards to this letter, and we will only be <coughs> discussing uh, matters of scheduling and as to when will we offer our report on any changes in the zoning ordinance to the Town Council. The letter is addressed to the Cape Elizabeth Planning Board. It is dated December 11th, the year 2000. Dear Chairman Connor, Carter and members of the Planning Board, this past May the Town Council received a proposed amendment from Paul Vos requesting new language in the Cape Elizabeth Zoning Ordinance. This past week, members of the Town Council noted on the Town's webpage an article indicating that the Planning Board has postponed further discussion of the zoning amendment until a study is complete that the Town Planner has indicated will take two months. Assuming the analysis is complete in February, the earliest the Planning Board would formally make a recommendation to the Town Council would be at your March regular meeting. The issue would then not return to the Town Council until our April meeting or nearly a year after the proposal was first submitted. Section 19-10-3A in parentheses 5 of the Zoning Ordinance provides the Town Council may consider any amendment if 60 days have elapsed since the Council first referred an item to the Planning Board. We believe the intent of this language is to ensure that a proposed amendment receive timely consideration. In this instance, we understand the Planning Board is considering amendments that would greatly expand the intent of what was first proposed by Mr. Vos. The Planning Board may wish to review its procedures regarding how the Board reviews proposed amendments. If the Board wishes to enlarge the scope of what, is asked, or what it is asked to consider, perhaps in such instances an interim recommendation should be submitted upon the original proposal with a request for additional time for more analysis. On behalf of the entire Town Council, I wish to encourage the Board to resolve this proposed zoning amendment as soon as possible. Perhaps you could complete your recommendation within the next 60 days. It is mailed to us and signed by Penny Carlson, Chairman of the Town Council. Uh, I just wanted to read that into the record and note for the public that we will be having a small workshop in regards to this matter, and we will be discussing only scheduling of this matter and when we hope to get before the Town Council. <coughs> Thank you for that little leeway. <coughs> Get back to the agenda of the evening. First item on the agenda is on the consent agenda. The Albion Center site plan request by Tom Tinsman for a one-year extension of the site plan approval. The Albion Center site plan located at 349 Ocean House Road, section 19-9, extension of site plan approval. Tom, you want to come forward and quickly bring us up to date as to the need of this? Hi, 
Hi, my name is Tom Tinsman. I'm the owner of the property at 349 Ocean House Road. I've requested a one-year extension for the uh, time needed to get a permit for the construction of an addition to the office that was approved uh, about a year and a half ago. And as you know, it was uh, kind of in limbo for about uh, six or seven months with a lawsuit versus the town and myself uh, from the neighboring party, uh, property next door. Um, once that was um, decided that that lawsuit had no merit, um, that was up in January of this year, and uh, when I started to put the plans together again for the project, uh, my father, who was a, a partner in the project, uh, got ill this spring and passed away uh, about the middle of the year. So they kind of put things on, on hold also. So I'm looking for an extension of time uh, for the permit. Thank you, Mr. Tinsman. <coughs> <clears throat> Any discussion by board members before they bring the matter to the board? Mr. Parkhurst. I'd like to make a motion. Go right ahead. <clears throat> be it ordered that, based on the information provided and the facts presented, the site plan approval granted by the planning board to Tom Tinsman for the area bound center located at 349 Ocean House Road is extended to December 19, 2001. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, David. Been moved and seconded. Is there further discussion? Hearing none, those members in favor, please raise your right hand. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Tinsman. Thank you. Moving forward, the one re only remaining item on the agenda, higgins Chatfield Pier Site Plan, request by John Higgins and Nancy Chatfield for site plan review to rebuild the stone pier located on the oceanfront of 30 Rams Head Road. Mr. Higgins. Uh, for the record, I'd like to note that the planning board did hold a site walk on this site. Can you see that all clearly enough? What we'll do, Mr. Higgins, is just have you give us a quickly an overview, and uh, at that point, the board will take upon itself a discussion as to whether the application is complete before we get into any more substantive review. Very good. Um, as we described at the planning board workshop, uh, the, what we are seeking to do is repair an existing structure within an existing footprint using substantially identical materials. The structure involved is a pier that was constructed in approximately 1965 uh, for use by uh, pleasure craft, uh, both large and small. And um, over the years, uh, there's been significant deterioration, particularly on the inside uh, of the wall. Uh, the outside with the stone armoring is fairly much intact. And what we would like to do um, is take the existing structure repair the inside of the, uh, the stone wall and bring it up on the pier and take existing concrete which is deteriorated and existing uh, pilings as well as um, timbers and replace those so that the pier is more functional, safer, less of a hazard and, um, and looks better. And that's the purpose of why we're here this evening. Thank you. Just a little bit of an administrative direction for the planning board members. We must first keep all our comments to completeness of this plan before we move on to total review. Does the board have any questions or concerns or questions of Mr. Higgins? Steve. <clears throat> Let's make a motion. Please go right ahead. Be it ordered that, based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of John Higgins and Nancy Chatfield for site plan review, section 19 9, 
and Shoreland Zoning Review Section 19-8-2 of the reconstruction of an existing stone pier located at 30 Ramshead Road be deemed complete. Second. Thank you, Nancy. A motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion or questions by board members? Hearing none, those in favor in regards to completeness, please raise your right hand. Thank you. The application is deemed complete. For those people who may be watching at home and think we went through that a little bit too quick, please understand that we have a town planner in Cape Elizabeth that does all of our work for us. And there is before us four or five pages as to whether or not this application is complete. And all we have to do is check in detail to make sure she is correct. And it takes just a matter of moments. And that's why the matter of completeness was moved forward so quickly. We're blessed to have her, believe me. Uh, in regards to overall review of the matter, are there any further questions of Mr. Higgins or the town planner? Yes, please, John. Uh, yeah, Mr. Higgins, can you just describe the, uh, the lighting that's going to be added? Yes. Um, I think it's on the second page here. It isn't very substantial. Essentially, the idea is to, I'll stand on this side, is to put approximately four posts that uh, come along here uh, at the end of the walkway, maybe three to four feet high, and to allow for lighting uh, particularly in the evening, where uh, there may be boats coming in or what have you just after dusk, uh, to be able to essentially not e escape without hazard to get back up on the on the landing and to go from there to the house. But it is there are there are very small bulbs. Um, I believe they're 60, 75 watt reflective. I forget what the exact dimension is, but it is uh, it's they're they're going to be low and they're going to be pointed downwards, and they will not cause uh, any reflection to any outside neighbors, or uh, can, it really won't be visible except toward the interior uh, of the beach. Go ahead, Nancy. Um, how many boats um, do you expect will come into your harbor? I hope very few. We have one boat, which we have more out in the lee of Richmond Island, uh, sorry, not Richmond, Ram Island, and uh, the objective is simply to provide, I'll leave the mooring out there, but to provide for access and egress other than by a zodiac, which we currently use to get out to it. Um, we've been using this area when the tide is right and, and so forth and so on, but right now it's too dangerous to really consider using it full time. So that's one avenue. The other are, is that we have a couple of sea kayaks and we would hope to be able to place those out on a floating dock here and be able to use that as, um, as generally our access point for kayaking. So you won't be <coughs> dependent on the tides anymore? That is our sincere hope. That is correct. By building this up. There may be some sanding that occurs in here that will, at very low tide, uh, might make it difficult to uh, come in, especially with the 22-foot uh, uh, hydro sport boat that I have. But otherwise, it should be, uh, should be fine for kayaks and any other shallower vessels. Thank you. Yes, David. Mr. Higgins, um, when we were on the site walk, there was some discussion uh, about the timber pier and the rebuilding of that, is that still planned? Uh, when you say timber pier? The uh, one that you show on the second plan off to the left as you walk down, former timber pier, it says remains. Former remains. I think that in, in subsequent development with the uh, engineers, we have decided to pretty much leave that alone. Uh, the reason is there isn't too much to be done with it anyway. We were thinking of capping it with concrete. Um, but I think that the, if we can take and um, saw off any loose timbers that may be in the way or would pose a hazard uh, and maybe put a few rocks there or something at the very end of the project, that's all we're interested in. This is never intended to be a usable or functional piece. It's simply there. We want to do uh, lessen its uh, possibility for being a hazard. The activity will occur pretty much within the line here. 
a construction activity. Thank you. Mr. Higgins, do you have uh, an estimate as to the total amount of fill of various types of materials it's going to require to rebuild this rock pier as it once was? Yes, it's approximately 300 tons uh, overall of stone of all types. Most of that will be in the armoring, which are very large boulders, maybe uh, three to four feet across and two and a half uh, uh, deep. And these will be placed, again, at strategic locations where they've fallen out. The rest of the material um, will be concrete, of course, and then the an other stone that's here will be simply, it's a lot of it that's fallen out, will be scooped back up. So we hope to use a lot of the material that's in place as far as stone goes. Um, the new material will be concrete, uh, especially in the surfacing here and in the pathway here, um, and the um, armoring, as I pointed out before, but not a lot of that. We discussed also at the site walk the, the possible need of permits from other government agencies. Have you received any more information in that regard as to what you may or may not be required to do? Yes. Uh, we gather that the Army Corps of Engineers is not required to uh, make a review of this, um, and we have received under, um, I guess it's called permit by rule, a uh, approval from the uh, DEP um, regarding any jurisdiction they might have. Thank you. Yes, David. Uh, uh, one question. Uh, Maureen, but directed uh, to Maureen. Uh, I don't see any reason to have a site walk, but I just wanted to make sure. I don't mean a site walk, but a, uh, a hearing. Um, I just wanted to double check to make sure that we uh, are in compliance if we agree to not to do that. Um, you're not required to hold a public hearing. It's, it's at your option. And we did mail notices in accordance with our, our noticing public notice provisions, and I haven't received any comments on this. I'd be in favor of uh, just passing up on that. <clears throat> yes, Steve. I'd like to make a motion. Go right ahead. Findings of fact. Number one, John Higgins and Nancy Chapfield are proposing to reconstruct an existing stone pier located at 30 Rams Head Road, which requires site plan review, section 19-9, and shoreland zoning review, section 19-8-2. Number two, this application substantially complies with section 19-9 and section 19-8-2. Therefore, be it ordered that, based on the plans and materials submitted in the facts presented, the application of John Higgins and Nancy Chatfield for Site Plan Review, Section 19-9, and Shoreland Zoning Review, Section 19-8-2, of the reconstruction of existing stone pier located at 30 Ramshead Road, be approved. I second that. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, David. Further discussion? Yes, John. Uh, is it 30 or 24 Ramshead Road? Good That's point. a technical matter. <laughs> we were allowed in the, we, we had to change our address. Okay. And so on the town maps, it's actually 24, but we could have taken 24, 26, 28, 33, whatever. Okay. We chose 30, somewhere right. in between, it, so. My document had 24. It, the, the assessor's records listed as 24. That's why I, I listed it as 24, but. Far be it from me to reorganize the E911 committee. <laughs> well, a hundred years from now, when somebody looks at this, they'll get confused. We won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> but technically, it's 30. Yes. Further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor, please raise your right hand. There are none opposed. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Higgins. Thank you very much. <coughs> Before we adjourn, we have a small and formal matter administrative matter to take advantage of. Board members in the town need to say goodbye to Steve and Nancy. Nancy is serving for the second time as a member of the planning board, perhaps even three before I even came to town, I don't know. And Steve serving more than a decade, I believe, as a member of the planning board. <clears throat> Steve is going on to bigger and better things as a member of the Fort Williams Advisory Committee. Uh, I've enjoyed meeting and working with you both. I'm sure every board member has. And uh, if any board member has any 
antidotes or items of discussion to bring up at this time, feel free to. If not, I'd just like to formally say thank you on behalf of the town and hope that in a period of time you can back and serve again. <laughs> and thank you, Mr. Higgins. A motion to adjourn is in order. So moved. Second. second. First and seconded. Uh, Mr. Parker has moved and Mr. Wilcox seconded it. All those in favor, please. We are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>